the Daydream Stitcher. Thank you for clicking on my video. This is my channel of all about cross stitch. If you're new here, thank you for checking me out and giving me a chance. And if you're returning, thank you for returning. I really appreciate all of you spending some time with me. I am completely speechless because not only did I hit 500 subscribers last week, but I'm almost at 800 and it's been an amazing couple of weeks. Chris Crosstitch shouted me out two weeks ago and my subscriber rate shot up, my views shot up. And then last week, two more floss tubers that I love shouted me out. And I am just so touched and thankful. One was Nadine, Nads, X-Stitch, here on floss tube. We've been floss tube and Instagram, brand, Instagram friends for a couple of years and I really love to watch her videos. She has beautiful stitching. I mentioned her in my, one of my recent videos and she mentioned me back and I was really touched. Thank you so much Nadine for the kind words that you said about me. And then a floss tuber that I followed for years and I adore, Stitchy Witch 42 mentioned me which was a total shock to me. Um, she told me on Instagram and I was like, wait, what, what? And I was just getting ready actually to watch her video um, when she mentioned that on Instagram. So thank you, Audrey, for shouting me out on your floss tube because I adore you. So thank you, Audrey, you rusty bucket of bog water. <laughs> You're my kind of stitch woman so thank you um and thank you to all of you who have taken a chance and come and watched me and commented and subscribed it just means so much i have been on floss tube off and on since 2015 which i think is kind of when floss tube got started and all of a sudden it's just taken off or my channel i should say floss tube is like amazing and it is definitely taken off but it's just it's a real thrill to know that people are enjoying watching what I'm stitching and I just love the interaction and the talking and the comments so thank you thank you thank you thank you so much I will be doing a giveaway for my 500 subscribers milestone and when I hit my be my next big number milestone I will definitely be doing a giveaway then too so please subscribe and hit the bell and do all those things if you want to have another giveaway soon. So this video I have stitching to show since my last video. I mean that's what floss tube is, right? That goes without saying. The first thing I have to show is a fully finished object of the year. I think this is the first thing I fully finished all year. Um, and I was gonna make a bunch of, I was gonna do a disclaimer and I was going to make all these excuses and apologies and things, but I'm not going to do that because I'm done doing that. I'm going to say, here is my fully finished object. And I am super proud of it because this is the first pillow I've ever made uh, for my cross stitch. Maybe the first pillow I've ever made. <clears throat> I don't know how to use a sewing machine, so I hand sewed this. And then it's not perfect, but it's mine. And I learned a lot from this pillow. So here's the back. <clears throat> this was a fabric that I got on Amazon, which was marketed as a Halloween fabric. It's black with little white just dots. I don't know if that's showing up. It also has kind of an underlying bat theme underneath. But it doesn't really show up very well. But there are little faded bats underneath. So I thought that went cute with the with the colors, the bright colors. I did decide that next time I do this type of finish, I will definitely leave more of a seam allowance. I will leave more fabric between the edges so that my picture um, shows up in the front more because as it is as you can see it's kind of bending over 
which is fine. It's fine. But um, that's something that I would change next time. And I would also like to try making the border pillows that have the fabric border around it and then that's stitched. And I will be learning to use a sewing machine one of these days. My daughter, who's nine, actually can sew a little bit. She's taken some classes with a sewing machine, so I need to have her teach me. So, pillow toss. But I am proud of that, and I am going to... I'm very happy with that, and I can't wait to display it for Halloween. This Halloween and many more, I hope. So the last, since my last video, I stitched almost all seasonal, Christmas and Halloween, alternating between them. Christmas one day, Halloween another day. Some days, you know, I'd give more than one day to a project. And I was hoping to show this one finished today, but it's not quite there. I'm going to show it anyway, and I'm going to commit to finishing it by the next video. And I had a couple of people comment on my last video asking about showing video of the finished project of what the pattern complete pattern looks like this one's pretty easy to figure out but i am going to start doing that with the help of my tech savvy teenager so i'm hoping that he will help me insert pictures or else i will just be doing this and showing you my blank wall the whole video so hopefully there's a picture there now and all I have to do, everything else is finished, all I have to do is just finish this banner. And it will be done, all in one color. This is stitched on a Wickelt linen. I forget the name of it. It was like rain something or stormy something. Um, and I, sh in hindsight, I wish I had done it on white, but at the time that I purchased it, at the end of last November, I wanted to just, I got it on Etsy, and I wanted to just go ahead and start stitching it. Well, I've discovered that I don't usually collect white linen or white anything to fabric-wise to put in my stash. So when I want to stitch something on white, I don't usually have anything to pull from. I usually have to special, you know, order something to have that. So <laughs> this is why it's on this color. I think it's pretty and it goes with my overall decor out of my main living areas but it would be nice I think on white as well so there it is and oh and I wanted to sh see if I could put in a video of where it was last time which there really wasn't that much more but I finished the border the green border I did change the colors the green and the red I don't remember offhand what the original colors are but I do know that I changed it to the green is 501, which I felt was like a more blue green, as in like, you know, a pine tree color. And it went better with the, the blue fabric, I thought. And this is 498, which is kind of a cranberry red. And obviously the black is the same. You can see that spot there, if that's showing up, that's from a wax warmer. And obviously when I finish it, I want it, yeah, that will be gone. I would like to do it on a board, which would also be a new kind of finish for me. So I will be trying that out too. I'm excited to try all these different things that FlossTube and Instagram is teaching me. Now my last video, my last, which was my whip parade, I said that all of my, all of my whips were not featured. And there was a couple of reasons for that. But I did say that I would be showing some whips throughout the year that were not shown in that parade. And I already have one. So you did not see this unless, if you've been following me for a while, you have seen this because I've been pulling it out for a little bit. But I did work on this some more and I apologize for the messy hanging threads. I'll try to trim them next time. Here is... Oh, I have to remember to do this. I'll get good at this, I promise. But I'm still fingering this out. Here's the completed picture. Here's where I was last time. And here's where I am now. And it's called Kitten with Ribbon. And it is a custom crafts pattern, full coverage. This is done on 18 count, Aida. I like to say Aida because that was the original pronunciation. And I love the musical play, Aida. So. 
And besides, Jean Farish says Aida, so I mean, how can you argue with her? So, sounds fancier somehow, doesn't it? So that was my Christmas stitching in the last two weeks. And then I worked on Halloween night by imagining, which is what this looks like when it's done. And here's where I was last time. And here's where I am now. I just mostly worked on this pumpkin down here. I am out of or misplaced the dark orange that's supposed to go there. So um, when I can locate that, I will fill, finish him. But I love the hat. I think the hat is so whimsical and quirky and cute. And I just love it. And it really adds to the whole design, I think, to have him in there. Um, I love whimsical cutesy and whimsical Halloween. I don't like scary, gory Halloween, but give me whimsical and I am all about it. Um, Nightmare Before Christmas, for example, anything that's like that sort of Halloween. Favorite movie, by the way, not that you asked. And then I also worked on my Halloween Quaker a little bit. Halloween Quaker looks like this. Many of you know it and have seen it. I'm boss tube, Instagram, and all over the place, Facebook. And there's where I was last time you saw it. And here's where I am now. Let's see if I can, uh, let's see. I'm cutting off what I stitched on last time. Let me try that again. So I worked on that spider mandela or that spider wreath. Cute, right? So cute. And as I've said before, I feel like this one, I will stitch a lot, a lot, a lot on it. And then I stand back and look and it looks like I didn't get that much done. I think because it's 40 count that that happens, but it looks amazing on you know, the 40 count. That was my seasonal stitching. That's why every day was a holiday for me this past couple weeks. So that was really fun. And I hope to keep that up with adding in some other of my other stitches. So Cross Stitch Camp on Instagram run by, I believe it's Colorado Cross Stitcher. In June, I completed the challenge. In July, I picked a significantly larger piece. I don't know what I was thinking. I didn't start on the first and I did not finish. But I worked on, I started, and I worked on A Gentle Needle by Monticello Stitches. And this is where I was last time I showed it to you. And I added a little bit more, and this is where I am now. We can see that. There we go. Um... This piece has been uh, an interesting challenge for me. I've never worked on one like this before, this type of design. And I've had to do a lot of frogging, a lot of recounting to make sure that things are symmetrical. And it's just been, it's been a, a, a good challenge, but it has been slow for me, slow going. So I will definitely be finishing this, I hope by the end of the year, but I am probably not, well, maybe a little over half done. Not counting the border, which is going to take a while. That's what I have to show for my stitchy progress. Because I had 500 subscribers since my last, or I hit 500 subscribers recently. I think it was before my last video and I didn't do a giveaway. So I'm doing my giveaway, my 500 subscriber giveaway now and hopefully doing another giveaway soon for my next milestone. You can hit the subscribe button and the bell. We'll get there quicker, please. Thank you for all of your subs, sub, subs subscriptions. Sub, is that the right word? Thank you for being a subscriber, let's put it that way. I have two things to give away this time. The first one is a chart that is showing up a lot of glare and I hope it shows. If it doesn't, I'll pop in a, a picture so you can see it better. But this is called Father Winter 
and it's by Teresa Wensler. And it's a really pretty pattern. It's, I guess, Father Winter on his throne, surrounded by his winter wonderland, reindeer and various things and a beautiful alphabet sampler like Teresa Wensler is known for. This is something I've had in my stash for a number of years. I had purchased a pattern on Etsy that I really wanted and this came with it. And it's just probably not one I'm going to get around to stitching. So, and I believe it's, I'm not positive if it's out of print or not. I think the other one that I bought is out of print, so I'm not sure about this one. I haven't checked. Some of her patterns are on her website um, in PDF form still. So, at any rate, if you'd like to have this paper leaflet, it does have some weather, some warmth, sorry, it has some wear along the edges. I don't know if it's been used, but it is a clean chart. There's no marking on it. It looks brand new. I think it's just shelf wear. It's definitely very usable, very collectible. So I will be happy to mail this to you. Just use the word winter. Tell me something about winter down below. And I will do a drawing in my next video, which I'm hoping is in two weeks. I'm also going to be doing a second giveaway in this video for a $25 gift card to crossstitchingsupplies.com. I heard about crossstitchingsupplies.com from two tall stitchers here on Floss Tube, whom probably most of you know, they're very popular because they're so much fun, mother and daughter. And when they first popped up on Floss Tube and I saw the name two tall stitchers, I was like, ee, and more tall stitchers. For those who don't know, which is probably almost all of you, I am a tall stitcher. I am six feet tall and I don't know if they're tall or if that's their name or whatever, but anyway, they are a delight. They're so fun. So they mentioned cross stitch, cross stitching supplies.com who is run by a lovely young lady by the name of Lindsay tall, who says she's no relation to them. So it's kind of interesting, but she's great. And she ships out like immediately. I've, I've ordered from her a couple of times and I've had it really quickly. She, has discount codes often on things. Your first order is 20% off everything, which you can't beat that. In the US, she offers free shipping, $25 and over. And she does ship internationally as well. And I just think she's great. And she's just getting going and she's adding new things all the time. She has some picture this plus fabrics in stock. And she I know she's ordered a whole bunch more whenever those come in. So please go check out her website. It's linked down below. If you would like to have a gift card to her shop, and this is for me, by the way, because I want to support her, please tell me something about supplies in the comments. S-U-P-P-L-I-E-S, -P -P -E and you will be entered in the drawing for that giveaway. You can enter both if you want. I have a little bit of haul to show, and then I'm done. So this week, last two weeks, I didn't get a whole lot of haul because I was going through my stash and I realized I have a lot of patterns that I would like to stitch and a lot of fabric on which to stitch it. So I'm gonna try to concentrate on those things and not buy a whole lot more. However, I did purchase off of Stash Unload this beautiful piece of Picture This Plus Alchemy linen. 32 count Belfast linen. This is Alchemy. And I want to stitch Sleepy Hollow on this. I have had that pattern for a couple of years in my stash and Chris Cross Stitch is stitching it, which I hear it's not being picked up very often. So let's get on it. I'm going to get started on it and I'd, I'd love to stitch it along with Chris Cross Stitch. So um, I'm not very good at stitching along with people because I tend to drop off quickly, but Hopefully I can make some progress on Sleepy Hollow because I love it. My kids are old enough now that I feel I can do it. I put it off for a number of years when my kids were little because I wasn't sure how that would go over with them, but they're they're cool with it now. They're like, mom, whatever, like, it's not a big deal. Why would we ever be scared of that? So, you never know. For Cross Stitch Camp, I got, I'm gonna try to do it again in August, which is to stitch using something you never have before. And I've never used Saki threads. Now this is August the 5th of 2021. 
So I'm not starting on the first again, but I'm waiting on my fabric to come, which should be here any day from one, two, three stitch. I chose this pattern to do off of Etsy. And I'm gonna use Salky threads because I've never used Salky before. So I purchased this neutrals pack for the white off of Amazon. And then I got this pretty ocean blue blendables Salky from 123 Stitch that I'm gonna use on the borders there. And I'm excited to start that. Of course, after I bought the pattern, I realized that it's bigger than I thought it was. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Should be an adventure. And then also, um, I picked up this cute little pattern from Country Cottage Needleworks who is a new to me designer that I haven't stitched before um, from Cross Stitching Supplies. And I'm excited to stitch this September one, hopefully this month. My daughter, who's nine, saw this and she said, oh, this is so cute. I wanna stitch this, let me have this to stitch. So I told her we can both stitch it. Lots of people do that. Sisters do it, moms and daughters, families, you know, dads and daughters, that husbands and wives, whatever, friends. So I'm hoping that my daughter and I will have our first stitch along. She's done a couple of cross stitches and she's finished them. And she has a little floss tube channel here on YouTube, um, which is called Panda Stitcher. And I have comments turned off for her, but she's really excited to post videos. It's been a little bit while she hasn't stitched lately. So hopefully we can stitch this together. She'll probably stitch it in on Aida and I will stitch it on Lenin or something, but that'll be fun. And I look forward to finishing it in new ways as well, maybe a flat fold or something like that. Stitchy Lemon, who's Nicole here on Floth Tube. Um, I think she's in Austria. I hope I'm right. Um, she talked me into a starting a stitch along with her in a couple of months on a huge full coverage piece from the Cross Stitch Studio. So we'll see about that. So that's a possibility as well. Um, she's a great floss tuber too. I think she's fairly new to cross stitch. So do go check her out as well. And then I want to mention a new floss tuber, a brand new floss tuber named Shirley, whose channel is Alchemy Needlework. And she's just picking back up needlework after a couple of years, but she's done a lot of different types and I'm looking forward to learning from her. She's an ICU nurse, so she's a real life superhero. And she just has a very calm, soft-spoken voice, which I really love. So please go see her and give her some floss tube love. All right, I think that's it for this week. Thank you so much for coming by. I really appreciate you all. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I'm also on Instagram. I'm very active over there at Daydream Stitcher. And I will see you all next time. Happy stitching. Oh, no, no. Hey, what were you doing? Hey, let go of me. Stop. No, no.